Hi children, welcome to Equity Learning. So this is grade 10, chapter 4, part 2 video. So if you haven't watched my previous videos for grade 10, please go to the relevant playlist of uh, grade 10 textbook and then start watching from the beginning. So in this one, we are talking about chapter 4. And in the part 1, we actually talked about the basic logic gates O and not gates. So uh, this is the second part of that a particular series, uh, chapter four, right? Okay, so today we are going to talk about uh, combinational logic gates, right? So we learned about different logic gates last time also. So, uh, you know, like computer, calculator, washing machine, those kind of devices are having so many logic gates in it, like, right? so these are having circuits which are designed using uh, these kind of logic gates right so this combinational logic ga uh, gates means uh, these are actually uh, designed using the basic logic gates so what are the basic logic gates and or not gates right so by using those basic gates uh, we have uh, developed uh, these combinational logic gates right so in here we are talking basically two combinational logic gates no gate Right, we'll uh, learn first that, right? So N O R. So O is the O gate, what we learn, and we are learning the uh, complement operation of the O gate uh, that is uh, like no, because actually how it comes is not O. So not O will uh, come as no gate. Okay. So here, actually, what happens is you have to remember what is the O gate and what is the functionality happens there. And this is the O gate. Hope you remember the sign of the O gate. Like, so this is the NOT gate. So if you combine those two together, we'll get A O B. Please remember I told you this is not plus. So this is A O B. So A O B. And what is this line means is it's the complement operation of it. Right, so A or B is what is the output happens. Now there are two inputs, A and B. So you know, if at least one of these inputs are one, your output will become one. That is how a O gate acted, right? So the, here it's a complement of it. Right, if you have at least one input as one, then the result will be zero. The output will be zero. So this is the truth table for this. So hope you remember we learned there are two inputs. So two to the power two, you will have four states. Right? Hope you uh, know the pattern how to write this also. Now, uh, because last week we did, so two zeros here is one one, and this one two zero one zero one like that it will come. Okay? So this is for the four states. So A, O, B. So we know zero, oh, zero, zero, it's zero. Only if you have at least one input as one, then only your output will become one. But uh, we learn no is the complement of this. So that's why if you have zero here with the not gate, it will become one. All the ones here with the not gate, it will become zero. So for no gate, all the inputs should be zero. Then only this will become, uh, the output will become as one, right? So the observation they have given you, when the uh, both inputs of no gate uh, is zero, then only output will become one. And remember, if you have a no gate a circuit with like uh, more than two inputs, like three like that, so all the inputs should be zero, then only your output will become one. Hope you got it. Okay, so this is the um, circuit symbol uh, for the no gate. And I uh, hope you remember your O gate has like this. And here you have a small kind of a circle to denote the no gate. Okay. So to table also we discussed. Okay, so here they have given you with three inputs, A, B, C, three inputs are there. Right, so this is a no gate, and uh, this is uh, how the Boolean expression will be. Right, A O B O C, and you have the complement on it. Right, and uh, you can have the same thing with two O gates and a 
not gate as well okay like this okay so the boolean expression they are asking so the boolean expression they are asking so it's like this a or b or c with the complement we'll see the uh, truth table okay so here you can see there are three inputs a b c and hope you remember the how to write this thing right so four zeros four ones two zeros two ones two zeros two ones and then zero one zero one zero one like that it will come this is our pattern how to write the inputs right and then you have a o b right so a o b so you have to consider only these two inputs so a o b is like i told you this is not plus but you can think like a plus and do like as a trick so zero plus zero is actually like zero or zero it's zero so if you have zeros for the both uh, inputs, then the output will become zero. In all other scenarios, we have ones as inputs. So the output will have ones. So this is A or B. And next A or B or C, right? So you have to consider this one and this one. So here also, in the first scenario, you have two zeros for the inputs, right? But in all other scenarios, you have ones as the inputs. So that's why oh, your output is having ones. So this is actually O gate with three inputs, but that's not what we are learning today. Today we are learning about no gate, right? So it's a complement of this. So zero with the not gate, it will become one. All other scenarios with the not gate, it will become zero. So this is the truth table for no gate. Understood? Then we are going to talk about NAND gate, right? So this is AND with the NOT gate. Yes, you got it, right? So they have given you some uh, circuit diagram also. So here there is a uh, Q is the bulb and A and B are two switches. Now, if you know about electronics in science, you may have learned these things. So uh, if you uh, off these two switches, if you close these two, two switches, right? That means actually on state for A and B, like if you close these two switches, right, what will happen? Here the resistance is very less. So the current, the electricity will go through this one, not through this way. So uh, if you close both of these two, what will happen is the bulb is not switched on. You don't see the light of the bulb, like you cannot uh, see it, it's not lit, right? Because if you close these two, the resistance is low, so it will go through this one. But what happens if you open at least one thing? Now, this circuit is broken, right? And the electricity will go through the bulb. Got it or not? So actually, this is the complement operation of AND gate, right? So in AND gate, we learn uh, what happens. The both the inputs should be one then only your output is becoming one. But here it's totally different. If uh, both your inputs are one, then your output is zero. In all other scenarios, uh, what happens is uh, you can get the output as one. That means if you have only A as one, right? that means you are closing only A switch, then what happens? The electricity doesn't go through this. It goes through, the current will go through this one. Right? So uh, that is how uh, NAND gate will act. Actually, it's AND gate plus the NOT gate. So, hope you remember the AND gate. I told you how to remember this very easily with the, like a D letter, it's like. So, AND is like this because a lot of students are like feeling hard to remember what is AND, what is O gate. So, if it is um, like a D, it's AND gate. So, A and B. I told you this is not a into B. This is not multiplication. This is AND operation, right? A and B. And then you have the NOT gate. So this will become the complement of it. Got it? Okay, so this is how the truth table will work. You have A and B inputs. So uh, two zeros, two ones, zero, one, zero, one, like that. So A and B, what will happen? It, I told you it's not multiplication, but as a trick, you can do like this zero into zero, zero like that. If you have zeros there, if you have any zeros, 
in your inputs, it is the output is zero. That's what we learned for the AND gate, right? So only if both inputs are one, like right, it's then only it's becoming output as one. Okay, but here we are not learning about AND gate. This is NAND gate with the uh, not uh, gate as well. Like so, this is a complement of the AND gate. So if you have zeros here with the uh, NOT gate, you will get one as the output. Okay, so here in this scenario, it's one already. So with the NOT gate, it will become zero. So you understood in NAND gate, if all the inputs are having one, your output will become zero right so uh, like this uh, earlier one no gate you have the end gate and we have a small circle here so this will uh, denote the nand gate a o b sorry a and b with the complement on it this line is for the complement not the, okay so here what is the observation uh, if all the input, now don't think only two inputs, no, you can have multiple inputs. So if all the inputs are one, then your output will become always zero. That's the observation we got. So here also they have given uh, you another activity with three inputs, A, B, C, and A and B and C with the complement on top of this. So this is the NAND gate. And the same thing you can do with two AND gates and a NOT gate also, same thing. So uh, A, B, C, so these are the three inputs and you have two AND gates. So A and B and C, right? Then finally you have the NOT gate, right? So Boolean expression they have already given for you. Uh, we'll see the truth table. Okay, so this is the truth table. You have again A, B, C, three inputs, right? So hope now pattern is familiar. Four zeros, four ones, two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones, and then zero, one, zero, one, zero. This is how the inputs will be written, right? Write it in this pattern, then it's very easy. Otherwise, you can think and write also because you have eight states, uh, three inputs, two to the power three is eight. So you can have eight states, that's true. And uh, you can write it like thinking also like zero, 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 one, zero, like that you can think and write, but it will take so much time. So don't waste any time, right? Because uh, write this way, uh, it's like a pattern. So uh, it's very easy, right? Then we have A and B. So you only these two inputs you have to consider. So I told you at least, uh, if you have like all C ones for the inputs only in the AND gate, you can get one. So that is why uh, as these are having all zeros in them, right? Your output will become zero. So only in these two scenarios, you have one as inputs for both of them. So that's why your output is becoming one here. Right? And A and B and C, right? So here you have to consider about the C input as well, right? So here, as I earlier told, in this scenario, you have a lot of zeros. And here also you have a zero for the inputs. So for the AND gate, as if you have at least one zero, the output will become zero. So that's why here you get all zeros. Only here you have two ones for the inputs, so you get one. But when it comes to the NAND gates, it's the total, the opposite story. So this is having a complement. It's like a uh, NOT gate, right? So in all these scenarios, you have zeros for your AND gate, but for the NAND gate, you get one. It's a complement of this, right? But here, as you have one, you will get zero as the complement. So what you learn from here is if you have uh, all ones for your inputs, your output will become zero. That's the only way it will have as zero. In all other scenarios, it will become one, right? Hope you understood, right? So up to now, we have learned uh, kind of three basic gates and two combinational gates, right? So this is the uh, basics uh, you should know because the next 
part what we are going to do is bit advanced uh, where you are going to design the logic gates which are a bit complex and we are going to write the boolean expressions for these complex circuits as well right so uh, if you haven't still subscribed my channel please do subscribe and please add comments like i know a lot of um, students are adding like um, their questions and how they learn from my videos i'm very happy to hear uh, your uh, comments right so um, thank you very much so we'll meet again